off the mains electrical supply before starting work. Remove and disconnect the existing light switch. It may be useful at this point to mark out or take a photograph of the connections to the existing switch so that the correct wires can easily be transferred to the new dimmer switch. Some existing wiring configurations can be complex, so take care. Check the back box behind the existing light switch. A minimum depth of 35mm is recommended. Remove the plastic film warning label. Ensure the signal wire, marked S, only connects the two S terminals and doesn't connect to the mains. Remove the dimmer switch faceplate by inserting a flathead screwdriver into the bottom slot and lifting it away from the unit. Connect the wiring to the two-way dimmer switch and the standard Lightwave RF dimmer, carefully following the diagrams in the instruction manual. Ensure that the terminals are properly tightened and that no bare wire is visible. Remember, the two-way dimmer doesn't require a mains neutral wire to be connected. It only requires live in, switched live out and a signal connection. Any earth wires present must be attached either to the earth terminal located in the back box or capped with a strip connector. The dimmer switch is double insulated so doesn't need to be earthed directly. Mount the dimmer switch to the back box and ensure that the screws are sufficiently tight to support the product. Don't over tighten as this may cause the chassis to bend. Ensure that the plastic spacer is correctly aligned and that no wires are trapped between the dimmer switch and the back of the back box. Replace the plate. A click sound should be heard to signify that the plate has been correctly fitted. Turn the mains electrical supply back on.